Hello and welcome! This is Melskinner, and we're back with some more Wargame Red Dragon. And it's time to deploy my air power over here. This is going to be the same old fight, just a different day. And hopefully we can knock these guys out. So let's go ahead and just do this attack. Okay, so... This is going to be more or less the same song and dance we've seen in the past. My enemies still have MiG-29s and SU-25s. We have managed to knock out a couple of them, though, so... That's good. Tanks are very much diminished, so really all they have left is anti-air and artillery yet again. Uh, if we can make good strides to knocking out the last of their armor... I might go on an armored attack myself, but I do have to worry about taking too many casualties from that. Okay, so again, same song and dance here. I'm going to put this unit here. I'm going to grab the anti-air infantry, which we've seen very effective. And the last fight that we had, we were able to knock out a whole bunch of helicopters. Now, granted, there aren't any helicopters in this fight that we're in, but it shows you how effective of an anti-air unit singers are. Or can be. Alright, so they're there. We need... The SEALs. I'm not sure if I'm going to go with the same setup I've done in the past. We might even cut back on how much infantry we have involved in the woods here. Uh, purely because I don't know if we need it with how little armor they have left. So I might just do... Two... And the Recon... As another two. Oh, okay. There we go. So that's half what we normally use. And... I might focus on getting, like, helicopters and things working. Not sure. I mean, we've done this uh, setup along this ridge in the past. And that has worked, sure. The enemy has a habit of coming over here and capturing things. I'm just a little worried that if I don't defend this ridge, they're just going to stroll down this road and, and hit me on the flank. And I don't want them to be able to do that, of course. So let's go ahead and set up the same defense we've done in the past. So I'm going to put two here. Put another two down here. Grab a logistics truck. Or two. We'll say two this time. I could do a forward operating base if I really wanted to. We're going to get our anti-air. There. So, still have 110 points. I might just get my helicopters now. Or I can get my air power now. Get an F-16 just as a defensive unit. Because their air power is right now one of the more threatening things to me. And then we focus on maybe some tanks. To push. K1 tanks. Okay, I'll grab a plane. Even though I don't know if that's the best strategy. I'd rather have it than not. Okay, let's go to very slow. Launch the battle. Okay, you guys are going to regroup. And then unload. You two are also going to unload. Okay, let's go to bullet time. Tell these guys to unload. Grab the helicopters. And I'm sure I have forgotten to land the helicopters pretty much every battle I've had these guys grab our recon put them there grab our seals put them actually you know what we'll do what we did last time we'll split them up a little bit okay you guys are gonna come over here okay and I think we're ready to go oh turn off we don't want to waste our resources on that. Oh, I forgot to put a forward. Oh, yeah, no, I did. It's right there. I was about to say, I forgot to put a forward operating base. Okay, go to slow. 
going to be some time before we can afford what we need, so... Ah, I forgot. Very slow. Got these guys. We're here. Go to normal. And then I think the next thing I'm going to do is get a helicopter so we can cover this sector. Forgot to put a recon over here. I just now realized that. Oh, that was a mistake. I might not see them until they're cl too close. Now we're just going to have to make do. Okay, I'm going to wait for... Let's slow this down. These guys are all more or less where they need to be. Let's deselect these guys just so that we know we're doing the right thing. Let's grab one helicopter. And... Grab one of these guys. Put them over here. A little bit of bait, perhaps, for their airstrikes. We'll get the other one in a bit. At this point, getting a recon vehicle over there might be too risky. Get a Ford one. Let's go. We still need it. Okay. Been quiet. Don't want to go out too far because I know how much anti-air they have. He should go along this road, then this road, then this road. This road might get him killed, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. What I might do is uh, stop him here and have him go up this way. Because they always take the roads when you deploy them to speed up the trip. But once he gets to here, I'll I'll tell him. As a matter of fact, we could tell him move fast to here. And then we'll change his move. Okay. Well. So far, still quiet. Almost have enough for that other helicopter. Let's grab it. Put it over here. And we'll regroup the two. May get a recon helicopter out. Help me with vision. I'm actually surprised we haven't seen any action yet. Alright, that's getting close enough. Maybe you come up this way. Now that I've told him not to move fast, he'll go on the direct path. Just up this ramp. Then we'll have him come over here. Matter of fact, going this way, I think we'll be okay. If he sees anything coming down the road, that's fine. The anti-tank stuff will take care of it. Regroup. Okay, now these two guys are together. Still nothing going on, huh? Well, the longer this goes on, the better it is going to be in my favor, because we'll be able to get more anti-air out. Which is what I'm looking for. Both, both of these guys fuel off, right? Okay, good. You know, we should probably hold these guys in reserve until we actually have enemy presence, so... Let's go to normal. I'll slow it down when I get the opportunity. And I'm going to look for... How much does it cost? Two of these guys. We're going to take our time. Put them in here. So they've got the forward operating base. Flying them. Wish that yellow halo would show up more regularly. So you knew its range. Okay, we're looking for 120. Thereabouts. Because they don't have much armor, they may just be holding back, so maybe to me to engage, but I want to have that anti-air uh, anti to protect my stuff, or at least inflict casualties if they decide to go after me. 
All right, we almost have it. Okay, we have it. Go to very slow. And I'm going to grab the Hawk anti-air. As you can see, very long range against planes. I might even deploy them further up if we're going to go with a tank run. Main danger to me is just the Ho Fives. That's it. So. And we only need 500 points here, so. There they come. So they go along the road most of the way. Still don't have any sight of the enemy. Kind of surprised. But considering what they have, maybe not too surprising. We could go with M40H just to limit what kind of losses we may take. Um, the problem with that, with the M48s, is they have very little armor, so any tank resistance we see at all, which we know the enemy has, would be a problem. But they should be effective against the all the other units the enemy has. So, And it could draw out what exactly we're looking for. You know what? I've decided, because they are not being too proactive here, I'm going to actually deploy these guys up further than I normally would, so we've got more coverage. And how much do we need for a full platoon? We need... Okay. About 140, I think, on that one. So, just waiting, being patient. Helicopters are in reserve for when we need them. I'm actually thinking about landing them so that we're not burning too much fuel here. They might already be landed. I guess they're hovering. Okay. And we're getting there. We could pull three and just go with a little bit of an armored advance to see what we can find. I think that's what I'm going to do. Pull three. Although we almost have enough for a fourth one at this point. We'll put them in here. And then I might give them a recon vehicle so they can see as well. And let's help them out by sending my... Did I turn fuel off here? Yeah, alright. Send my helicopters over this way. Right. I don't think I spawned the recon. Oh. It'd be a recon helicopter. That might be more than I can easily pay attention to, but we are going to do that. Once I get it close enough, I'm probably going to put these guys right here. Put some in the area so we can respond to them. Once we get closer to the area, I'm going to slow things down just so I've got reaction time for stuff, but... For the meantime, nothing's going on, so. We'll have to make the magic happen. Okay. Go down to slow. That way we're not caught with their pants down if they have anti-air here, which they very well may. They may still take out the recon helicopter before I could react to it. Alright, they may be just waiting in here. If that's the case, that puts me at quite a bit of a disadvantage because they can call on their air power and get it out of there before I can really even do anything uh, with it. So we'd have heavy casualties with our tanks if we tried to do an advance. So more than likely, we're going to end up doing this with our infantry. Um, I'm going to start having them move up. Let's have them come up in here. And uh, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to walk through this uh, series of buildings. We encounter the enemy, then we can act upon them. But for now, we just have the M48s out in the area. Uh, I'm going to wait until I can afford the better F-16. So we get a little bit of better air coverage. Might be good to have an F-4 as well, but we'll wait on that. Okay, 
let's go back up to normal. It's clear we don't have any uh, anything happening on over here. Grab our more expensive F-16 in a second. But again, this is getting further and further away from our deployment zone. Okay. I'm going to slow down to slow. We're going to get our recon helicopter over here. I'm going to grab my main attack helicopters and put them over there. Our tanks are now in position. We might put them over here in a bit, but I just want to see if we can see anything. You may see planes coming in. Oh, you see them. Probably too late. Let's tell these guys to stop. You guys stop. Okay, we actually got out of there. That's our anti-air. We have vision of it. Let's have the tanks come over here. We might reestablish that vision. Okay, these guys are going to come on up to this building. These guys are going to come on up to that building. Hopefully giving me vision because they are recon. Tanks are going to have to be careful here though. I may want to call in some uh, anti-air to help them with how far out they are. Uh, I'll wait until I have 80, and then I'll call those in. Two of them. Put them maybe in these woods here. Let's tell these guys to stop, because it's clear the artillery is firing into this area. So they saw my helicopter. I don't know why they'd fire artillery into an area they saw a helicopter. Helicopters can't be hit by artillery, but whatever. Okay, we have enough for the anti-air, so we're going to grab them. One, two. And we're going to put them in the woods here. That way they give us coverage in the vicinity of where... You know what, let's, let's reroute that. Let's put them here. As soon as this artillery stops attacking me... Wow, still not seeing anything? Alright, well we'll go in, up into the woods here. With our imagery. Okay, I'm just being patient here. As much as I can. Just a little bit surprised how passive the enemy is being. Okay, we see the enemy. I'm just going to move my tanks, roll them up, and kill this anti-air. They're not going to stop me? It's possible they'll hit me with their air power. But knocking out their anti-air might be worth it. Let's just stop right now. I don't think they see me. We might be able to afford an F-4 and just knock the sucker out with our, our missiles. They might have more anti-air in the area, but... Okay, the artillery fire stopped. Let's get into this woods, or at least behind the cover. Okay, they're backing up. So I'm just going to advance in here. We almost have enough for the... This guy. There we go, we got him. Go after the anti-air. As long as we keep vision of him. I think this is a good call. Oh wow, we got more anti-air than I expected. And I think we just got taken out real quick. So is that all they spent on their, their resources on was anti-air and artillery? Oh, we'll take care of that. I mean, I don't like using losing the F-4s, but... Let's get these guys coming up to this ridge. We know they're in these woods here. So, we'll move up. This is our recon guy. 
That's going to be their artillery. A lot of anti-air. And I guarantee you we're going to get hit by their air power as soon as I walk into this zone. Look at our helicopters up here. As much as they may, may be knocked out. They may be able to help me out. Have these guys move up this way. I might as well just have the infantry move up along with that. Now, if I remember correctly, their artillery can knock me out. Here it comes. Bullet time. They're probably going to knock out all my tanks with this. But what can I do? Go to very slow. I might have backed off. Well, I've got my, my air power out, so if he circles around to hit me again... Hmm. Okay. That's evac. Let's move on this bridge. Not really sure where these guys are firing. Oh, we found the command vehicle. Looks like it's going for the bridge. Got him. And we're done. That was the only command vehicle they had. So that was a really slow fight. That was a really slow fight, but... It's the only command vehicle they had out on the battlefield. Uh, we did manage to destroy the tank regiment, which is the only means they have of fighting me anymore. They have no more command vehicles, so that's it. They may be a nuisance like we've seen in the past, but we finally knocked these guys out, so they're not really a threat anymore. So we'll hit OK. So the rest are going to retreat, and they should not have command vehicles. So they, they may come in every so often to bother me, but they're not going to be able to actually directly attack me. So we've taken care of that. We still have some engagements that we may have over here, but we're slowly whittling that away as well. So eventually we'll get the sucker taken care of. In any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is Melskinner signing out.